Good evening, I'm Tiro, and let's play the Adams Family. And where we left off, we were in the conservatory, heading towards Wednesday. And right off the bat, we have a bonus room called the Spider's Den. Just a bunch of dollars and the invincibility. However, the invincibility is kind of pointless because you have to walk all the way back this way to the main area, so it's kind of pointless. Well, it does, it does have a useful feature that you can just zip right down without worrying about all these tomatoes and thorns and the spitting fire plants. Let's see, it's already gone. And it takes us to the Rose Room, which has a lot of these tomato plants and spikes. However, unlike other areas, it's a bit... It's actually fun. It makes good use of the mechanics of the game. You have spikes and you have to do monster jumps to get across, but it's not a huge hassle. It's a good challenge. Not much to say here. Very fun area. Okay, I'm repeating myself. Let's see. Let's talk about the family members. Okay, roses. Uh, the only one who would be in the conservatory a lot of times would be Morticia, and she would do her uh, Adam's technique of deadheading the roses. Or is it deadhead? No. The actual technique is called deadhead. And basically, what it is, if you have a flower and. A secret area. If you have a flower and it's budding or seeding or, you know, withered, what you would do is trim off the head so that the larger flowers or blossoms mature better and faster. Of course, Morticia does the opposite and kills all the good flowers so that there's nothing but thorns. In here we're at Poison Ivy, which we've seen before because it was a halfway mark for the thorn room. Or basically the thorn room that led to the... and I messed up this area. The Thorn Room, which heads to the Wormy Way for the Centipedes and the Heart, leads to the Long Garden. However, if you go back in the Long Garden, even if you were just from the Thorn Room, it takes you to this area called Poison Ivy. And I'm about to die, but not to worry, because there is a hidden area nearby. Which is rather easy to get, except for this horrible jump. As I kill all the flies, that would have ate, helped me get across. And here we go. And it too is called the Secret Garden, and it's like the spider's den. Except it's going upwards. You know what? This would have been useful for coming back to the Thorn Room. But once I hit the money spider, it would have been a pain climbing up. Ugh. That's just horrible. It seems they all want you just to go straight towards the crypt and not backtrack in this area. Well, maybe it doesn't, I just don't realize it. Yeah. Kill you, spiky thing. Kill you till you die. Because I don't like you. And here's the long garden. Let's check it here. And a little platform. And there's another one here, but I gotta jump. Ah. Well, there's another ledge here with just more points like that. I'll skip it. Do not waste time. Kill the alien monster. And kill myself. Great. Now, the long garden actually is long, and it's just the style of the room is jumping platforms like this. Moving platform, jump over the thorn. And here's a secret area, it's called the Petty Drop, and it's kind of like Pugsley Pipe. All you do is drop down, and there's a bunch of dollar bills in a straight line and a fencing sword. However, the switch is on the opposite side of the Long Garden, making me think they want you to go to the Long Garden backwards. But it's kind of pointless because all the platforms come from the left side to the right, just like right now. How do they want me to get across? And so, when you're going right to left, you have to wait for the platform to come, which is annoying and pointless. So it's a nice area for obstacles, but not for traveling through the 
it didn't quite think it through. See, here it goes. And then if you go backward, there's like little steps to help you go across. But we're not doing that because I don't like this area. And here we are in the graveyard, and look, those little zombies that kind of have the Bride of Frankenstein here, do. Looks exactly like the alien monsters and like the little chefs and stuff. So, repeating the same thing. I haven't noticed any other similarities with the enemies except for the little flying bugs that make the same little tweet tweet, tweet tweet little sound. They come in green and purple, but it's also, they'll be like little fat bat monsters. I think about that rabbit. Those rabbits remind me of something else. I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but the only way to accumulate multiple points and jumps is if you don't do monster jumps, which is kind of odd. And here we are in the crypt. This is Wednesday's favorite place. Maybe she is down here. Yes, she is. And this area is very challenging because they give you annoying little drops and stuff. Over here is the upper tomb, which basically forces you to come here to the crypt, and it just takes you to the outside on the other side of the crypt. There's a spooky drop. With the upper tomb, see, it has all the kind of spooky drop with the switch. Follow that. And here's a demonstration of accumulating multiple points without jumping. Let's see. 100, 200, 400, 800. There is supposedly a secret. Here we go. The cryptic climb. Oh. Yeah, it's a bunch of switches and I missed it, so I'm guessing it's just annoying. Uh, hit the switch, move to the other side. Hit the switch, move to the other side. Not worth it. And here's the arch vault. I love the background. Nice. I won't say gothic style because it doesn't have pointed arches. Isn't history wonderful? Or shall I say, you don't learn anything just in school. Right now, in my history lesson, I know how to point out the flaws in video games. It's uncanny how I tie education to video games a lot. Got spike balls, kind of like thromps. Or however you say them. And fish, that don't really make sense. And here's a fencing sword, which is pointless because there's not a lot of enemies in this area. Maybe should kill these guys. Yeah. Although you can make tiny jumps like that. It takes a while to master though. Jump, jump. Challenge. Will I die or make it to the next one? Gotta die there. Here's a switch where I don't know. And here's Jester's Jump. I hate this room. I'm gonna kill myself. Because there's a series of doing those little diagonal jumps. You know the ones that they always throw on platformers. Now, this is evil. I mean, it's not. You think minecarts are bad or force scrolling areas? No, these are evil, especially with, you know, bad controls. See, I gotta go up diagonal. Oh, this may take a while. Oh, be stole my heart. Oh, oh, come on. Yes. No! <laughs> come on. Yeah, this is evil. This room right here, and there's another one. Ah, come on, I, I jump. No! Ah! Oh, I hate this area. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Ugh, this is evil. Yeah. And if I notice that in playing, uh... Well, not playing, but watching Kaizo Mario World. They have a lot of these jumps. The guy who designed it knew what he was doing. Because this is evil. And guess what? Gotta hit the switch again. Oh, great, one hit. Now, hitting the switch undid the switch I had to do before. So if I die, I go to the beginning and have to do that all over again. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, let's go. Of course, you have the little evil jester laughing at you in the background repeatedly. Oh yeah, I know you're watching me. Come on, come on. This little skull guy can help me if I don't die. No! Oh! Oh. Do I want to 
risk hopping on him? Come on, come on. Oh, yes. And that's all the time I have. So until next time, I'm Tiro. Have fun gaming. See ya.